So this is a piece of a fence post. This fence post has a lot of history. Be sure to stick around and I'll tell you an interesting but somewhat sad story of why I call it a one million dollar fence post. Okay, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. This piece of wood was formerly known as a fence post. It was part of the fence between our property and the property behind us, which at the time, over 48 years ago, was a horse pasture and the original farmhouse of the area where I live. Well, that's no longer going to be because they're developing it and all the trees have been cut down. And I decided, well, maybe I can make something out of this piece because it's really nice and solid. And it looks like cedar, but I'm not sure. So, I'm going to mount it on a face plate. This will be the bottom, and I want to try to leave some natural down here and come up with some sort of a shape. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but uh, let me get this mounted up, and we'll start turning it, and hopefully something comes out of it that will help us remember the old days. All right, I'm going to start rounding it from here, and... Like I said, I'm not sure where we're going to end up, but I want to make something out of this. Got my, I think it's an inch and a half spindle roofing gouge. I'm going to go ahead and switch to a 5 8 bowl gouge and I'll start coming up with some sort of a shape here. Still about a thousand RPM. I'll use a 5 8 again, but this has a conventional grind on it. Chase this down. Make it a little flatter. All right, maybe a little bit too much in the middle. All right. That was a little bit too big in diameter there. 
I'm going to go ahead and use a spindle gouge to finish cleaning this up and we just about have the shape I think I want. Okay, I finished cleaning up this direction now. That cut nice. Go switch to the spindle detail gouge. so I can get in that corner better. Okay. Alright, I think I can go ahead and sand this now, and after I get done sanding, we'll get a hole drilled in here, and we'll be about done. I'm not going to sand any of this here, I'm going to just leave it the way it is. Okay, be right back, so we get everything set up and we'll do some sanding. Okay, I'm all set to sand, I'm going to start with a 2 inch disc, 120 grit, Sand in reverse at maybe 450 RPM. All right, that should be pretty easy. So let me finish sanding it up to 400 and then I guess we'll come back and drill a hole in it. So I'm not trying to keep the chuck from spinning, but if I feel it slipping, I don't want it spinning on my taper, so I just back off real quick. Okay, time for the finish. And I think I'll use shellac base sanding sealer. And not sure what I'll put on top of it. More than likely shellac, but we'll wait and see. This has got the texture of a washboard here. And nothing I did. That's just what happened to this post while it sat there. Wind blowing on it, getting wet, sun hitting it. Here's more washboard here. That really darkened that up, and I expected that. I'll go ahead and just wipe it on here. I kind of like this. It looks like it's kind of growing out of the ground the way the post sat in there. I can't wait to show this to my wife. Her and I have been tearing that fence down and 
disposing of some of the pieces, burning some of the pieces, and turning some of the pieces. She doesn't know I'm doing this. I'll get this all sealed up. A couple coats, a couple coats of shellac, and then we'll be just about done. Okay, so I have three coats of shellac based sanding sealer on everything and three coats of shellac just on this area. And now I'm using axe abrasive paste on it. And I want this to look like a brand new shiny vase sitting on a very old fence post. And for sure it's a very old fence post. So what I want to do is get it shined up and I'm doing about 500 RPM to work this abrasive paste in. But this is a good time to tell you why I call this the million dollar fence post. This was the fence between our property and the one in back. And it was a fence to keep horses in place and it worked good. Now they're developing it and they're putting nine huge houses in along with the farmhouse. Well, the prices vary all the way up to one million dollars. And I'm pretty sure the ones that are going to be butting up against us will be the million dollar ones. So that's why I'm just calling it that, just for fun. You know, it's just how things are and we'll just have to learn to live with it. Having lived here all this time with really no one in back of us, it's going to be a change, but we'll adapt to it. So what we now have is a five dollar vase sitting on a million dollar fence post. Alright, I'll be back and we'll get this off and I'll show you what we ended up with. Well, here it is, a one million dollar fence post. Actually when that fence post was put in it was probably three dollars. But now it's a fence post with a nice shiny vase sitting on it. I've got this little tube that I seal the end off with. I can put that in there and maybe she can put some flowers in it. So it's still eight three quarters tall and it's four and three-eighths across that way and three and three-eighths across here. And I kind of domed the top to make it look like you might do on a fence post so the rain would fall off. And I wanted this to actually look like it wasn't even part of that. So I used two coats of sanding sealer on everything, two coats of shellac on this area, hit it with scotch bright, and then X abrasive paste and polish. I think it looks pretty nice. I'll try to get some flowers in there and get a picture of it. And there's the base. I like the grain on that. I still think it's probably cedar, but I really don't know. I like it a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click that like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And for those of you who are, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. It would also be great if you could share my videos around. Leave a comment. I read them all. Thanks again, and until the next time, see you later.